yo, yo, we are back. More Atomic Heart with Dimitri. What? And Gurkun. Oh, geez, Gurkun. Have some modesty. Anyway, <clears throat> how y'all doing? Go chonk. Good to see ya. Atomic Heart, more like platonic farts. Okay. Not quite sure what. Okay. Any more updates on the doggo? Nope. Uh, doggo is currently on his way to a different hospital to get an MRI. Yep, he hasn't gotten worse, which is good. And the pain meds seem to have helped, which is good. Um, but we're still trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened? Uh, Booker lost control of his left side this morning. Um, one of the people that has a horse where we are, he found Booker laying in the field with our other dog, like right next to him, like watching him. And um, he has feeling in his left side. He just doesn't want to put any weight on it and, he, and he's not moving it. Uh, we don't know why. He went under, underwent x-rays and stuff like that and they couldn't see anything. Um, he, again, he has feeling and he's aware and it, it doesn't look to be like a stroke or anything. Like they, they really have, they don't know what's going on. Um, but we are hoping to get some more answers this afternoon. Little um, side thing. This today is one of those times when I just want to say how amazingly appreciative I am of, of you guys and, and how you support me and what I do. Um, Lena had to have a, a serious talk with the vet and it was, it was a situation where the vet was like, okay, here's the deal. We can give you a steroidal injection and send you home. Um, the other option, if you want to continue treatment is like this expensive MRI and that's probably gonna lead to more bills. And we know you don't want to do that. And Lena was like, Oh, no, no, no. We're going to do everything we possibly can for the dog. And he was like, oh, okay, well, let's, you know, start doing that. And that's what she's on the way to do right now. And it, and it just made me realize that without the support of you guys in what I do every day and to, to be where I am, because of y'all continually coming back, there are other times in my life and where, where we would have just had to take that injection and go home. Like, there's absolutely no question that we would have had to just been like, okay um that's it and and he may and you know we're not we may not even ever let, let alone we may not be able to treat him properly we may never even know what happened and and he could just be paralyzed for the rest of his life so i just want to say even even if even if nothing comes out of it it's it's incredibly appreciated that we're able to have the resources to give our furry friends every bit of a chance that we possibly can so thanks thank you um, cause yeah, like I said, there's been for most of my life, uh, we would have just taken that injection and gone home because we wouldn't have been able to afford what we would have had to do. So thanks. Thank you. And now thanks to you guys, we're going to do everything we possibly can. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, oh, that's right. We just beat that super, super difficult thing. Oh God, there's the doll. Mm. Raffy the dog, thank you. Raffy the dog, thank you for the 10. I appreciate it. Cheers to you. Mm. All right. Good show. Let's keep moving. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay. Whoa. Hey, why isn't anybody working?
my guys. All right. Good stuff. Okay, get all that. Gotcha. I'll tell the tour guide I found one of her people. Looks like a med student. Peace. Kind of brutal. Don't swim in the polymer. Okay. Airbender. That's your favorite cereal? I don't think that's what it meant. the real beta connectors since collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority everyone in it was supposed to be equal yeah we already talked about that then why they need the beta connectors to secure collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it that's impossible everybody's equal in collective shit the alpha connector indeed intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the alpha connector this could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could Beta Connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal? Then, destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly. But that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? Yeah. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Don't sound so confident, buddy. I mean, I, I mean maybe. Uh, I don't know. Good show. Free Stepper, thank you for the five bomb. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, dude. Authorization, Major Nichai. How are we doing here? Um. Let me get this. That's one ten. Yeah, we should probably save for that. Although we can get more shield upgrade. Oh no, we can't. Wow, these are these are expensive, man. Okay. Access granted. Um. No. Ooh. Killing an enemy grants temporary protection. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, that was just a way to get back. Okay, cool. Do we have a classic on our hands with this game? I'd say, if anything, we have a cult classic. Yeah, and it, there, there's parts about this game that are, I think, like a general audience is not going to be super into. Um, but there's also parts about this game that are pretty phenomenal. So it's, it's, you know, it, there's, there's both, I'd say, in, in a lot of ways. Oh, wait, this just goes... This just goes back. Oh, did I get the... I guess I got the parts. Ow. Am I under attack? No. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Would this be comparable to something like Bioshock? In some ways, yes. In some ways, absolutely. The aesthetic is Bioshocky. The, the powers are Bioshocky. Um, some of the progression is even Bioshocky. Like there's there's a lot of things about it that are. Scanning there's the there's some Bioshock. Area. There's some Prey. There's Module some Wolfenstein. Establishing coordinates. Yeah. Assessing structural integrity. Oh, Lord. Head location. Chelame floor. Structural integrity compromised. Excessive pressure detected. Excessive shit, it's dark here. That is absolutely some co jam right there. Like Gusta Mucho. whose primary task is working with special water plants used in the production of polymers. The structure of the complex and the unprecedented precision of its design impressed the world's engineering community so much that in 1954, international investors asked Soviet specialists to build another underwater city off the coast of Iceland. Where was Rapture? It wasn't off the coast of Iceland, was it? Is that ever is that ever talked about? Uh, Warax, I didn't play that because I didn't want to, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't put words in my mouth that I don't say, bud. Pretty disrespectful. Just said Northern Atlantic. Okay. Dude, this whole thing right here is like a DLC in its own. Like being able to visit this place. Oh my Lord, it looks awesome. <laughs> oh, Chad is always helpful with the underwater. Absolutely. Yep. Mm -mm. Absolutely. 
One second, I gotta take care of this VIP. Rapture is an underwater city located in the northern Atlantic Ocean, somewhere between Greenland and Iceland. It is only accessible by a system of blathospheres. Approximately 433 kilometers west of Reykjavik, capital of Iceland. Oh my god, that was a Bioshock reference. That was absolutely a Bioshock reference. That is actually awesome. Okay. <laughs> That's really fun. That's really fun. I miss Bioshock? Me too. One day. Leopard! Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Access granted. Mm, I think we're good. Crispy fucking. Here's the shit ass way out of here. Underground or something? Crispy effing, chat. Crispy effing. I wish the main character would stop swearing and calling everything crispy. <laughs> I think that's a valid complaint. I do. I think that's totally valid. A valid request. Oh, God. Why does he say crispy critters so much? I have no idea. Zero idea. Is there another another Bioshock in development? Uh, yes, there's a new there's a new Bioshock in development right now, and there's also a new game called Judas in creation by Ken Levine, who's the original creator of Bioshock. There's actually two Bioshock esque projects in development right now, an actual one, and then Ken Levine's spiritual successor. I should really. I can, I can take it out of here. Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the bunker? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top. Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. Oh. Can you see that guy?
Cool. Ooh, a lot of stuff in there. We haven't gotten in the loot room anytime recently. That's right, L. Yeah. Hey, no, what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, apparently uh, GFN has, like, the 4080s and stuff now. So, good good chance to check it out. Oh, okay, bud. Oh, yeah, I mainly use axe, but you can use all sorts of stuff, dude. I got, like, a little pistol. I got a bunch of powers. I got, you can attach stuff to it. There's multiple weapon types. Like, oh, yeah. I just love the axe. I think it's, it feels great. Charles, so after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Thanks, Ellie Beans. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. But they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You uh, see what's apparently. going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in collective. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without him. I couldn't agree more. Oh, I wonder if that would have like sucked up the robots and killed them. That is a badass looking engine. The Beluga is the world's fastest multi-purpose submersible vehicle. It can reach speeds of up to 78 kilometers per hour and is able to carry out civilian and military missions at depths down to 3,000 meters. We've learned more about the ocean floor over the last few years than we had during the previous century. If you ask me, we're better off exploring the depths of the ocean than outer space. Fascinating. Why is that? Because you got to know your home before you can start visiting other people's. I mean, not wrong. That's fair. It's weird that we got a, an option to answer that one. I wonder if that's going to be if that's going to be important. We got a lot of stuff to break down. I think we're gonna see if we can, I think we're gonna turn our shotgun into a robot killing shotgun. Next time we get to a, a sexy fridge, we're gonna see what we can do there. I think we'll turn the AK into a To buy a lot. So where's the very top? Oh. 
I hate that if we like, wait, can we go in this? Oh, is this all? Oh, it is. Oh, I can't use my hand thing down here. Oh, there we go. It's very interesting that we don't have a breath bar in this game. I wonder if that's going to be a, a thing later. Ever since our first time into this stuff, it's made me wonder. Why don't we have to breathe? Hmm. 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 You can breathe in it like the cows did? Maybe. It'd have to be like super highly oxygenated though. I love the idea of the polymer in this game. Stand down, agent. You're out of line. Ringling Brothers? Mm. 